down to the wire for one of America's oldest and most iconic retailers. On the line, the last 425 stores and 68,000 jobs at both Sears and Sears-owned Kmart. As soon as I worked at for 36 years, closed in 2018. In the span of two months, I had lost my job, my health insurance, and I lost my house. When I started with Sears, it wasn't just a job, it was actually a career. I made good money, I made friends. I had clients that would keep coming back. I bought a house in 1999. It was my American dream come true. More than a decade ago, Wall Street hedge fund manager Eddie Lampert bought and merged Sears and Kmart. Since Eddie Lampert took control of Sears, he's reportedly made one billion in profit, all while destroying the jobs of over 250,000 people. Then Sears spent six billion dollars buying back stock from shareholders. Eddie Lampert's net worth kept rising on the backs of thousands of his employees that he continued to treat as disposable. In 2011, when Lampert bought a $130 million yacht, I was working at Kmart as a part-time associate, making $8.25 an hour. But then the cuts came and they kept coming. As we all know, we haven't capitalized on this opportunity the way I would have liked. Instead of growth and investment, we have faced retrenchment and restructuring. It was just another method of him bleeding off the profit. I wonder how he sleeps at night, or is he really that far disconnected from the little guy that made him all this money? He sold our profitable brands like Land's End, and he sold Sears properties to his company he started called Seritage. Eddie Lampers is walking away with millions in his pocket while the rest of us get nothing. We all sacrifice so much for Sears. I'm still currently unemployed a year later. Now my husband and I are struggling to pay our bills and support our daughter through college. I want to fight for the, or protect the other 50,000 employees that are still with Sears and also the other retailers that are going to be coming up into the same boat because Wall Street owns most of them too. We are fighting to take our economy back. We are fighting to stop Wall Street from destroying our jobs for profit.